Hi, I'm Mitch Gallagher from Sweetwater. Today, we'll be looking at digital mixers. Now, of course, digital mixers have become basically the standard for many venues, for most touring acts, for many bands. And there's a good reason for that. They offer recall, so you can instantly get back to settings that you had before. They've got onboard processing, so you don't need to carry racks of gear with you. They're compact, they're lightweight, they're easy to use, they offer a lot of options and so many different features. And these are all some of the many reasons that digital mixers have become the standard for house of worship, again, for clubs, for bands, for touring acts, and so on. Today, we want to look at six great digital mixers that all come in at less than $5,000. Any one of these mixers offers fantastic sound quality and tons of features. Let's take a look at each one individually. The Behringer X32 is extremely popular because it's affordable, and it offers so much capability, great sound quality, and it's also very easy to use. We've got 40 mix channels. We've got 32 microphone preamps that were designed by Midas. We've got 16 XLR outputs plus control room outputs that let this work equally well in a recording studio. And speaking of recording, there's an onboard USB jack for a USB stick for stereo recording, so you can record your mix right to that. Via USB, you can record 32 and play back 32 channels of audio with a PC or a Mac. We've got 25 buses, six matrixes, six mute groups, and four onboard digital processors that give us a full range of effects. Other features include motorized faders, making it very easy to see all the layers. And speaking of layers, one of these layers is a DAW control layer for accessing your DAW inside your computer. There's a built-in auto mix function that's ideal for corporate events with speakers. And we've got a seven inch color screen that really lets you see everything that's happening inside the X32. You can control the X32 using wireless apps for iOS, Mac, and PC, and you can create individual personal monitor mixes using a wireless app as well. And there also are option cards that support MADI, Dante, and SoundGrid. You can connect Behringer's P16M personal monitor mixers to create multiple in-ear or wedge monitor mixes on stage. So we've really got a full-featured solution that comes in at a great price and is very easy to use. Next up, we have the Allen & Heath SQ5. This is a very compact mixer, yet it supports 48 mix channels and has 16 onboard mic preamps. It also has 12 XLR outs plus the main outputs. We have 17 motorized faders with six layers. One of those layers is for DAW control. The SQ5 has 36 buses and supports 32 track recording and playback via USB with your computer. We've got eight stereo effects engines, three matrixes, and we've got a seven inch full color screen as well. We've got automatic mic mixing for panel discussions and corporate events. We've also got the SQ link port on the back that allows for expansion. There's an SQ drive feature that allows you to record directly to a USB drive. And this mixer has an audio engine that runs at 96 kilohertz and offers just 0.7 milliseconds of latency. Sound quality is fantastic and that's very, very low latency. You can take wireless control over the SQ5 using the SQ mix app for iOS and Android. You also can expand the SQ5 with option cards that support Dante as well as SoundGrid. As I mentioned, this is a very compact mixer. It's even rack mountable, which makes it very easy to take to the gig or to install. I do want to mention the intuitive workflow of the SQ5 as well. We've got soft keys here that can be assigned to any function, and the controls are arrayed right around that 7-inch capacitive touchscreen. Midas is a name that's well respected in the live sound field, and the M32 brings together their many years of experience into a very ergonomic console. In fact, the ergonomics for this console were designed by Rajesh Cuddy from Bentley Motors. We've got 40 channels, 32 mic inputs, and 25 buses. We have 50 insertable effects, as well as eight stereo digital effects processors. The M32 is well set up to take charge of your entire show. There are 100 scenes here, but there also are 500 cues that you can call up to help automate your production. We've got six matrix buses, eight DCAs, and six mute groups. We have motorized faders, and there is a DAW control layer as well for controlling your DAW running on your Mac or PC. And speaking of Mac or PC, via USB, you can record 32 tracks to Mac or PC. You also can record to SD card using the Midas M32. And there's a USB port right here on the front for a USB stick to record your stereo mix. There's a 7-inch color screen to allow you to very quickly see exactly what's happening with the console. And you can also take wireless control over the M32 using iOS devices. 
An option card port on the back panel supports Dante, MADI, ADAT, as well as sound grid. And you can also interface the M32 with digital snakes and stage boxes. It's a very easy to use console with the flipped up front panel. You can keep your eyes on the stage, yet still see what's happening with the console. <laughs> This is the TF5 console from Yamaha. Yamaha, of course, is well known in pro audio and live sound for their many years of making incredible consoles that you see on tour all the time. The TF5 brings that technology together into a compact package that's very easy to use thanks to their touch flow operation. We've got 48 channels, 32 D-Pre mic preamps, 16 XLR outs, and 20 aux buses. There are eight DCA groups, and the TF5, as I mentioned, is set up to be very easy to use. We've got one knob EQ and compressor control, it's super intuitive. We also have a vocal mode for the EQ that allows you to very easily dial in the sound of your singers. A gain finder function makes it super easy to set up the TF5, and we've got Dan Duggan auto mixing for panel discussions and corporate events. The onboard effects processors inside the TF5 are based on Yamaha's legendary SPX processors. Fantastic sounding algorithms. We also have the TF Stage Mix iPad app for taking remote control over the TF5, and there also is a TF Monitor Mix app that allows each musician to take charge of their individual monitor mix. We've got 34 track recording and playback to your computer, and there also is an option card slot for a Dante card. In addition to the touch flow intuitive operation, we've also got a touch screen here that makes it very easy to reach out and grab exactly the parameters that you need to create your mix. The Behringer Wing is a very powerful console. It's actually set up to allow for dual operator operation. So one person can be working on mixing over here, another can be on this side setting things up. It's a 48 channel mixer, and those 48 channels can be individually configured to be mono, stereo, or mid-side. And in fact, the wing supports up to 400 sources, external and internal. And a very nice feature is with those channels, you can configure it with a main input and also an alt input. And this allows you to very quickly switch between setups or between two different sources that you need to use during a performance. We've got eight Midas Pro preamps, as well as 28 mix buses. Each channel strip features model processing based on vintage studio processors for EQ as well as compression. We also have 16 effects processors that use algorithms drawn from TC Electronic, Lexicon, Quantec, and EMT. The wing supports 64 channel recording and playback using dual SD cards, and you can also record and playback up to 48 tracks using your computer. We've got motorized faders and banks of 12. And as I've touched on, we have almost endless I.O. options with the wing. We've got aux inputs. We've got three AES-50 ports that support up to 144 inputs. We can connect digital stage boxes and snakes and more. The wing is designed to be very ergonomic with the controls laid out to be easily accessible. And we've got a 10.1 inch touchscreen. You can also take remote control over the wing using the wing co-pilot app. We've got autopilot, which is the wing's auto mix function. And we also can install an optional Dante card for network connectivity. One final nice feature of the wing is that the touchscreen can be adjusted to whatever angle works under your lighting conditions. The PreSona Studio Live 32S is equally functional whether you're doing a live show or recording in your studio. It offers up to 40 mix channels and has 32 XMAX preamps on board. We've got 12 XLR outs, 26 buses, 24 DCA groups, as well as 16 flex mixes. We have motorized faders, DAW control, of course, and a big feature is the fat channel, which is right here in the center of the console. This is your channel strip for each of your channels, and it allows you to access modeled vintage style processors for EQ and compression for each channel. You can connect the Studio Live 32S to your computer for 64 track recording and playback. And you can also record and playback 34 tracks using the SD card slot on the front panel. We've got a 7-inch touchscreen, and Studio Live 32S includes a full suite of software, including PreSonus's Studio One Artist DAW. You can access the Studio Live 32S remotely using the UC Surface app, and there's also the QMix UC app that allows for control over personal monitor mixes. One final feature to mention, the Studio Live 32S supports AVB networking for stage boxes and digital snakes, as well as EarMix personal monitor solutions. 
I hope you've enjoyed this look at six digital mixers that come in at less than $5,000. They're all incredibly powerful. They all sound fantastic and they offer so many features. Now for complete information on any of these mixers, be sure to contact your Sweetwater sales engineer or visit sweetwater.com. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Click here for more videos like this or start at sweetwater.com for all your music instrument and pro audio needs.